Indian Contract Act 1872. The Indian Contract Act extends to whole of India except the state of Jammu and Kashmir. What is contract? As per Section 2 H of the Indian Contract Act 1872, an agreement enforceable by law is called contract. Formula. Contract equals agreement plus enforceability. So, all contracts are agreements but all agreements are not contracts. An agreement which is legally enforceable alone is a contract. What is agreement? As per Section 2, E, agreement means every promise and every set of promise forming consideration for each other is called agreement. Formula. Agreement equals offer plus acceptance plus consideration. Agreement which is enforceable is called contract. And, agreement which is legally not enforceable is void contract. What is offer? As per Section 2 a offer, proposal, means. A person is said to making a proposal when he signifies to another his willingness to do or not to do or abstains from doing anything with the view to obtaining the assent of that other to such act or abstinence. What is acceptance? As per Section 2b. Acceptance, promise. When the person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent theretto, the proposal is said to be accepted. The proposal when accepted becomes promise. Offer equals signifying willingness plus obtaining assent. And acceptance equals signifying assent. What is consideration? According to Section 2, D. Consideration. When at the desire of the promisor, the promisee or any other person has done or promises to do or abstains from doing, or does or abstains from doing or promises to do or abstain from doing something, such an act or abstinence or a promise is called consideration for the promise. As per Section 2, C. Offerer or Permissor. The person making the proposal is called Permissor, an offeree or promisee. The person accepting the proposal is called promise. According to Section 10, all agreement are contracts if they are made by the free consent of the parties competent to contract, for lawful consideration and with a lawful object and not expressly declared to be void. So in order to make contracts we need these five things. Free consent, plus competent parties, plus lawful consideration, plus lawful object, plus valid agreement. In order to create a valid contract, the following elements should be present. Intention to create legal obligation or relation. Free consent. Competency or capacity of parties. Lawful consideration. Lawful object. Offer and acceptance. Agreement not declared to be void. Possible to perform. Intention to create legal obligation or intention to create legal relationship. Case law. Balfour v. Balfour. Husband promised to pay his wife maintenance allowance every month, so long as they remain separate. Husband fails to perform his promise, and his wife brought an action to enforce it. As it is an agreement of domestic nature, it was held that it does not contemplate to create any legal obligation. Hence, social and domestic agreement is not legal obligation. Free consent Consent means knowledge and approval of the parties concerned. This can also be understood as identity of minds and understanding the term vis consensus and idem. And is Sold me your car at rupees 5000 or I will shoot you. Okay, don't shoot me. I will sold my car at rupees 5000. In order to make valid contract, consent must be free. And is Sold me your car at rupees 5000 or I will shoot you. Okay, don't shoot me. 
I will sold my car at rupees 5000. In order to make valid contract consent must be free. Consent must be free. Wherever the consent of any party is not free, the contract is voidable at the option of that party. Consent would be considered as free consent if it is not vitiated by 1. Coercion, 2. Undue influence, 3. Fraud, 4. Misrepresentation or mistake. Competency or capacity of parties. Section 11. Following persons considered as not competent to enter into any contract. 1. Has not attained the age of majority, 18 years, 2. Is of unsound mind and, 3. Is disqualified from entering into a contract by any law to which he is subject. Therefore law prohibits minors. Persons of unsound mind, excluding the lucid intervals, and person who are otherwise disqualified like an alien enemy, insolvents, convicts etc. from entering into any contract. Lawful consideration. Consideration would generally mean compensation. Quid pro quo means something in return for another thing. Agreement not declared to be void. An illegal agreement is an agreement expressly or impliedly prohibited by law. Agreements which are opposed to public policy are illegal in nature. Similarly any agreement in restraint of trade, marriage, legal proceedings etc. are void agreements. Mr. A invites to his friend Mr. B a dinner party is enforceable by law? No. Since, social and domestic agreement is not legal obligation. Consent obtained by coercion, undue influence, fraud is valid. No. Wherever the consent of any party is not free, the contract is voidable at the option of that party. Contract with minor is valid. Minor is disqualified from entering into any contract. Contract made by persons of unsound mind in lucid intervals is valid. Yes. Contract made by persons of unsound is valid when he is of sound mind. What is consensus adidem? It means knowledge and approval of the parties or identity of minds. What is quid pro quo? It means something in return 